Hello anybody, I'm Alpaca Patrol, and this is XCOM Enemy Within. That's right, I'm back with another episode of XCOM Enemy Within. Guys, that last mission was goddamn intense. Like the circus fire. You didn't get to see most of it, which sucks because it was very difficult on me. And I wish you were able to be there with me through it, but you weren't. <sighs> Which is total butts. It's total butts, and that's my, completely my bad. And there's, there's kind of basically no way to, you know, get back that stuff. It's, it sucks, man. But, anyway, I think that's okay. Because now we got a lot of things going on. We got satellites in three days. Which is nice. Because I'm pretty sure those are our extra satellites, right? Yeah, so we don't even need to... Yeah, we have three available. So so we don't even need to build more satellites next month, which is going to be great for our, uh, for our money. Um, and in six days, we're going to have our council report. Plus, we got an extra hundred credits for, uh, for completing that mission. Um, someone said that, like, if you, if you stop the transmitter upload, then, uh, you would have gotten more credits at the end of the mission. Um, I, I'll be honest, if you guys watched that, that part, which you, you couldn't have, there was absolutely no chance in hell that I would have been able to do that. There was no chance in hell that I would have been able to do that. They, like, at, at, after a certain point, they just summoned a bunch of exalt, they summoned, like, six exalt guys in the zone where the thing was and they didn't have any cover either but just couldn't kill them i just it just it was impossible uh for me anyway i mean for for our current situation we didn't have any beam weapons we didn't have anything like that uh but our beam weapons are going to be done in three dizzles and i can't wait for those dizzles to be dunzels because we're gonna we're probably gonna put up the satellites after those three dizzles uh because you know the council reports in six days i think i think uh we should be good uh and we can we can already start on the on the beam weapons buying the beam weapons so uh so that'll be cool uh, and then we have to consider what we're gonna do here so uh let's go to mission control actually before i do that i actually should say if you guys are expecting magic today unfortunately a bunch of fucked up shit happened in uh in nick's life yesterday i won't go into details about it but uh some serious concerns and we weren't able to record the magic episode unfortunately and then also the day before when we were trying to record it uh basically cam <laughs> broke his his auxiliary cable for his sound so uh we couldn't couldn't get that rolling unfortunately but it's okay because we'll have magic probably tomorrow or something uh most likely anyway let's get back to xcom because if you, again, if you're watching this like a month after I've done this, then that's not gonna matter to you at all. Pretty much only matters to. Uh oh, do we have the? Is that what's happening? Yep, 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 yep. Our uh, our little our controller was uh, was messing with us there. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Immediate. I press the button for a literal like that's that must have been a microsecond, and we have alien abductions already. All right, fuck it. Oh, by the way, here's Commander, something that we're tracking several reported abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm actually happy about this because this means that we can probably yeah we'll probably go to Germany, which gives us more engineers, which is fine, I guess. Uh, that might make it easier for us to get another satellite uplink up next month, which would be nice. Oh, a new recruit, a lieutenant support. However, that's really good. Okay, so let's let's consider our options here. So we can go to Germany, which would mean that I don't have to put a satellite up in Germany yet next month, which is great. I wasn't actually planning on doing that, though, probably. I'll probably get the Asian bonus, which I don't remember what the Asian bonus is. What's the Asian bonus? Uh, it is Future Combat, which is like Foundry Upgrades, I think. I think that's Foundry Upgrades. Which I think is like the better one, expert knowledge, yeah. So what we're probably gonna do? Oh no, we're not gonna get Asia next month. We have to, we have to put a satellite in Egypt. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate that we have to put a satellite in Egypt, but we totally do so that we don't lose it. Yeah, that's okay. We can get Asia next month. I, I don't know what future combat's gonna do. Actually, we'd probably get it. Like, I think we get the bonus before the month is out, so we could we could probably put a satellite there in Australia 
uh, or in or in, in China or whatever. So yeah, we should probably go to Germany, the which would lower the tests right now that could be disruptive. I'm going to alert the staff as a precaution. I'll do it up, man. Uh, Egypt's gonna give us seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. This is gonna give me eighty dollars. Unfortunately, Germany Germany gives us a hundred dollars, which I would like to put a satellite there. Um, but that's okay. We could probably put it in the United Kingdom or, I suppose, Australia or China. Probably Australia. Mm -hmm. So we're actually gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to get like less money next month. That's unfortunate. But anyway, uh, I think that's fine. Oh, the thing that I wanted to mention was, remember when I said that the only difference in the last episode was that Sarah Kerrigan was a sniper, it was a support instead of a sniper? Well, as you can see, she's a support now, which is great because we needed a support. Um, however, <laughs> the thing is, it, it got all screwed up because I saved that file as a, as a secondary save file. Um, it doesn't really matter. Let me let me just get back into the. Might as well start this alien objections things. But um, yeah, I I saved that file over that specific one, and uh, oh, Jingle Jangly is here. I wonder if that means is Bill Butt out? No, Bill Butt's not out. Oh, he's already on the mission. That's why. Okay. Uh, is Guy Fieri still out? Yeah, still gravely wounded for ten days. Actually, we're gonna have to get some more dudes on the mission. We have Ayankale. We can get Dimitri too, because we don't need another sniper. Um. What does this one do? Confirm all weapons of the soldiers not selected for the current mission. Okay, yeah, that's that's definitely what we want to do. Uh, that's a really good button that they added there. But anyway, uh, so it saved across all of my saves on game one. I actually really dislike the save file system in this game, to be totally honest with you. That's one of my least favorite things about XCOM right now. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and accept that. Um, yeah, that, that's like one of my least favorite things uh, right now in, in XCOM. Uh, and uh, so, so it saved her as a sniper, so I actually had to go back into the autosave and repeatedly reload it until I finally got support. I, I actually had to do it, I think, like eight times before I actually got rolled to support on Sarah Kerrigan. It was unfortunate, but uh, and it's a little bit scummy, but we got it the first time, so I think it's okay. All right, so we need a new member of the squad here. Hmm, what should he be known as? Gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Samuel L. Jackson is dead, and we- Oh, you know who this is gonna be? We're gonna get Morgan Freeman. I think Morgan Freeman needs to be part of the XCOM team. Uh, firstly, we need to get him some facial hair, uh, like a straight goatee. Do we not have a straight goatee? Oh, yeah, yeah, that works, I guess. Uh, hair color, let's make her white. Can we make it white? Can we make, like, an old XCOM operative? Oh, we totally can. That's badass. Uh, his hair should be something different, though. What is- yeah, that, there you go. That's some good... Oh, that's excellent. That is Morgan Freeman all over. Thank you for joining the squad, Morgan Freeman. Uh, we have one set of carapace armor available to us. What do we have? We have the scope and nanofiber vest available to us, too. Um, which we may just do. We may give Billbutt the carapace armor, but I don't think it's entirely necessary. Uh, so we probably won't. I think we're gonna have to stick with these grenades because we're gonna have a lack of explosives. However, they only do three damage at this point. I think it's fine. I, th I think we should keep it like that. You know, maybe we'll give um, this dude who actually needs to have a new name. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got here so far? We've got uh, Dmitry Malakov, also known as. Um... Oh God. Let's. You know what? You know who I want on the team? Because he is dreamy is Ryan Gosling. I think Ryan Gosling needs to be on the team. And you know what? It's not just regular old Ryan Gosling. He's Ryan Gosling out of that one movie where he has the blonde hair. Does he just have regular blonde hair? Is that the thing? He might He might just have blonde hair all the time. I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna say right now that I would much prefer... Like, don't get me wrong. I love me some... Uh, I love me some Ryan Gosling. I really like... Morgan Freeman more probably. Uh, I wonder, is there another armored deco? Oh, there is! I think they, oh, they added two more! Or they added one more, they added one more. That is fucking sweet. F yeah. Oh, F yeah, Morgan Freeman. And you know what? He's good with, oh, although he looks really cool in white. I think we're gonna change it to white, because it's really cool on Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman just is a cool looking man in white. Yeah, that looks pretty good. 
Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. That's that's cool. Um, and uh, why don't we give Ryan Gosling, since he's not gonna have the Carapace... Actually, you know, we could get him Carapace Armor. And in fact, we probably should. We probably should. Let's, let's get another piece of Carapace Armor. Oh, although... Here's something... Oh, no, 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 no. I know... Wait, no, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Or I am kinda... Okay, so the <laughs> so the future combat makes officer training school things. Oh no, it's only seventy five. Okay, yeah, we're doing it. We're we're definitely doing it. We're increasing the squad size. Okay, that's fantastic. So squad size is now available to us, and we could get the uh, carapace armor, another piece of that. Which actually we're gonna need two pieces of that, and we don't have quite enough money, but we will if we sell two things. Let's see what we can sell. Oh, you know, we could sell one of these things, uh, but they're not really super mm, expensive. Let's do that, and let's just sell... We only need one more dollar, so let's sell one Exalt Rifle. I I'm told in the comments that we actually get... Uh, we actually get cool stuff from those so that we should save those but uh, but it's okay we'll we'll just we'll just buy it oh actually i guess i didn't actually have to sell it which is unfortunate uh i thought we were going to be short a dollar but i guess it was only 34 dollars whatever it's fine let's just go back to mission control uh we're gonna go again to germany because that's the best idea and now we have another member of the team uh which again not gonna be jingle jangly i don't think uh probably because we don't need another sniper right now uh, and we'll probably get someone else on the team. God damn, this is 11 minutes of, of <laughs> nothing happening. What's with these hairstyles on the ladies? This this is this is the, like the fifth time I've seen this hairstyle on a lady. Uh, immediately. Uh, who does is not on the squad? You know who's not on the squad? Beyonce. We don't have Beyonce Knowles. She has a fantastic singing voice. Uh, and I think she needs to be on the squad. Actually, wait a second. Did we have Beyonce? Hold your horses. Let me let me go. She might be dead. She might be dead. Visit the memorial. Yep, Beyonce. Beyonce was on the squad. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about that, Beyonce. I, I I apologize for your loss. It's funny that I went to Beyonce again, though. It is really funny that I did that. Uh, let's go ahead and customize her. Oh, okay. So it's not Beyonce Knowles. Who on earth could this possibly be? I'm running out of ideas of you know women. You know who needs to be on the squad? Laura Croft. Laura Croft, the British lady that we all love to love. She actually needs to be green. Uh, if we can get her green, there we go. That's that's more Laura Crofty, I think. Um, okay, and uh, her hairstyle that gotta be different, right? She's gotta have the Laura Croft. What does Laura Croft have? I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, I think that's that's Laura Crofty, right? That's that's Laura Croftizing. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, hair... Oh, God, no, no. She was definitely never that color. Or that, um... That hairstyle. What is... She's got brown hair, right? Like that? Is that the hairstyle that we started with? Or the hair color that we started with? Let's change her head. Uh... These are all very mannish. That's okay. That's pretty good. I'm with it. Okay, Laura Croft's on the team. She definitely needs to get some of that delicious carapace armor. That's good. Uh, good news. We have Ryan Gosling, and you know what, Ryan Gosling? You get some carapace armor too, buddy. There you go. There you go, friendo. Gotta change your uh, your thing, though. Uh, gotta change your armor tint. Yeah, let's, let's get him to be orange, because that's how that movie Drive was. It was very orange. I never watched that movie, by the way. Never watched it. Wanted to, because it looked pretty good. But uh, never actually ended up watching that. Let's actually customize him and change him to a different armor deco, like that one. Yeah, that's cool. Although, you know, he's he's kind of a slim man, and that makes him look buff as hell. Let's change... Let's change Terry Crews. I think Terry Crews deserves an upgrade in his armor decoration. That sounds good. Yes! Okay! I think we're ready! We got Ryan Gosling, we got Lara Croft, uh, they all have grenades, which I think is fine. We have three rookies on the squad, however, so this could go very badly, or it could go very well. I guess we're just about to find out. Let's do this. God, that introductory section took quite a while, and it wasn't entirely my fault. <laughs> I have to say, I'm long-winded, don't get me wrong, but, uh, it wasn't entirely my fault this time. Our target site is near the German border. 
We're still picking up transmissions indicating alien movement in one of their major city centers. We should get down there and secure the area ASAP. Yes, indeed we should. Alright, so, uh, I've actually been on this map before. This map I've seen, uh, before, which is unfortunate. Oh, God. Uh, and I don't like it. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage. Welcome. Are we gonna comment on these, uh, on these green things? Or did they already comment on that and I totally missed it? Is that what happened? It probably was what happened. Uh, let's get Laura Croft moved out. We're, we're, we're gonna lead our, our, our rookies are gonna be in the vanguard. And we're gonna keep our other people much safer. Uh, where can he get, okay, so he can get up there. That's, that's where he's gonna be aiming for, I think. Uh, Bill Butt. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go into Overwatch with everybody. Except for Bill Butt, who has to switch to the pistol, and then he could go ahead and go ahead and watch. There we go. Safe as Salmon. Is Salmon safe? It's probably very safe. I would think that Salmon is a very safe food to eat, if I had to guess. Uh, and I don't have to guess, which is lucky for me. I mean, I, I'm glad that I there's no guessing involved in my uh, line of work. Let's dash over here, which... Oh, boy. Not what I was expecting, or not necessarily what I wasn't expecting, but not what I was hoping for. Let's say that. Uh, she has two fucking shots. God damn it. And he's got none. Even though he could shoot over this thing. Ah, oh, dang it. That's really awful. Oh, that's cover. That's interesting. So we can get Morgan Freeman moved up to, uh, to aid to her. Location. Which I think I will do. 26% chance to hit, which is not what I like to see at all. Bill Butt still has no shot. Move what it. about Sarah Kerrigan? Do you add anything? Nothing there. Which is really unfortunate. What about you, Terry Crews? Okay, he does have a shot, and it's 36% chance to hit, which is not good. And we don't have our heavy, which is a total butt lord. Like, it's a super duper butt lord. Oh man, 25% chance to hit. That is, none of that is very good. So let's go ahead and take these shots. 36% uh, chance to hit with the pistol. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Nope, he missed. That's okay. I really was straight up not expecting him to hit. Uh, let's take this shot. The reason that I'm taking it with the pistol, by the way, is because I only need to do one damage to him. Yeah, that, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, where can he get? get over there, but that's probably not going to give him a shot. Maybe that, like, maybe that'll give him a shot. Oh, we could get him over here, but he's the only one not wearing carapace armor. However, he seems more tanky than the other ones. Gosh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's get over here, because again, like, we only need to take the shot with the pistol, uh, and we need to hit. He has no targets? Really? Alright, well, then let's get all of the covering. Alright, yeah, let's get all the covering here. That's fine. And we are set up with our smoke grenade, which is great. Bill Butt has his shot, 26% chance to hit. That is not particularly good. Uh, Bill Butt, yeah, the only, the only two are Bill Butt and, uh, and Other Lord. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's, let's get a grenade in over here, break down all of this cover, and do three damage to this alien, which I think is all a bunch of good things. Yeah, that's fine. And, uh, that actually opens up a shot for Bill Butt, which is actually a 44% chance to hit on that guy, which is definitely pretty good. However, I'm thinking... Uh, I, I forgot that that actually gives them a bunch of shots. Which is not good. He only has to move, like, one tile, and he's flanked everyone. Uh... Do we overwatch, or do we... I think we overwatch, because... Oh, whoops, that's not what I want to do. I, wa I think we overwatch, because if this floater moves, then uh, we should potentially have good things. Oh, that's real bad, though. We are all flanked. -ed. Okay, but Bill Butt did do one damage. We need to back the fuck up, though. I was not expecting these floaters to come out on us. I don't think that we're going to be able to give, do any of this meld stuff here. 
Yeah, alright, he's got full cover, but he's gonna hit, and he's got a flank, and he killed... He, he's dead. Morgan Freeman's dead. Nine damage crit. Nine damage crit. And everyone is flanked. I think they're all flanked by this guy. I, I'm really salty that, uh, that Morgan Freeman's dead, to be totally honest with you. Really salty about that. Let's go ahead and get Ryan Gosling over here so that he can stop this shit from happening. 93% uh, chance to hit. He only has to do up to 2 damage. He, he can kill this guy. Okay, he got him, which is good. Um, now, still flanked, which means these guys definitely need to back the fuck up. Like, Bill Butt needs to get back over here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get uh, Sarah Kerrigan... I don't really want a dasher. What kind of shots do you have? He's got two shots. 36%. 76% chance to hit there. Which is pretty darn good. So I I, I kinda wanna I kinda wanna do that actually. So let's let's get uh, let's get Sarah over here. She shouldn't be flanked, right? Yeah, no, she's not flanked. 70% chance to hit. Let's uh let's take the shot and see if Sarah's got it. She did the six crit! That's fucking excellent, man. That is excellent. Uh, unfortunately, I really don't think that there's any chance for us to, uh, to get a... Heading to that location. Okay, two shots here. 25 and 25. That's, that's, neither of those are good. And he's got a 36% chance to hit. I think we put those two in Overwatch, because these aliens are probably not going to take the shot. And even if they do, it's a very low chance that they should hit. They're trying to pull back. Yeah, are they piecing it? Yeah, yep, yep, they're piecing it. Oh, which which means that we got two Overwatch, and they both missed. Both of them missed. Uh, that's okay. They they had like a 36% chance to hit on that anyway. What? Oh, okay. I thought he jumped up on our plane or something. That's bad. All right, he flew up in the air and then pieced it, which sucks because we're definitely not going to be able to get that meld. Oh, maybe we are. Oh, maybe we are. Maybe we can get that meld. Bill Butt, do you have a shot? He does. 64% chance to hit. What about with the sniper rifle? It should be better. No, only 64. Let's see if he can do it. If Bill Butt can do it, that's excellent news. And he's aiming the complete wrong way. That's not that's not a good starting sign. Come on, Bill Butt. He missed, of course. 60 64% chance to hit. It's not good enough, evidently. Uh what about you? 59% chance to hit. Uh, that is also not particularly good. But I feel comfortable. I, like, the thing is, I don't want to move him over here because he'll get flanked by these dudes. Uh, so I don't really want that to happen. I, I want to take the shot from where we are. Can we please hit a man? Dear God. 50% chance to hit. Come on. Okay, Sarah's got it because Sarah Kerrigan is goddamn money. Which is great. Sarah Kerrigan is money. She is money in the goddamn bank. Go. Let's see if we can get Lara Croft up here. I can't believe Morgan Freeman is already goddamn dead. 45% chance to hit. That is not particularly good. Let's, uh... Uh... Oh, if she makes the shot, the alien is dead. If she doesn't, then he has a 45% chance to hit her, which will probably kill her. Let's do it. Oh, of course she goddamn misses. That is not surprising to me. Why do we not have... Okay, yeah, what... It... I, don't, I don't understand what was happening there. Uh, that was a little bit strange. Uh, let's go ahead and get Terry Crews to go aid him. Or aid, uh, aid her. By getting him up over here. He shouldn't have... Oh, dear lord. He's got... He's got... Uh, I didn't know that there was a floater right behind here. 100% chance to hit. 60% chance to crit. We gotta take that shot. I mean, that's a kill. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Man, I am, like, super unlucky in this game. I gotta tell ya. I am super duper unlucky in this game. Where is he going? Is he gonna... I hope they don't kill Terry Crews. He's in high cover, and they have only a 45% chance to hit. No, they're piecing it. Which is good news. He had to dash. Yeah, that's that's exquisitely good news. 
That is excellent goddamn news. Now I wonder, if I move him over here, is that meld going to be recoverable? Because I'd like it to be. Uh, okay, so we're safe. If it's not. So let's let's go over here. Okay, he can collect it. 76% chance to hit. 76% chance to hit on him. Which is good. Uh, so let's let's take that shot. 76% chance to hit. He only has to do one damage. Come on, Terry Crews. 76. He's got it. He's got the crit too, which is great. Um, and we've got Lara Croft as well to uh, aid on this shot. Which she can actually get over here and hopefully get an even better shot. Which would be great news. Nope, no shot at all, actually. <laughs> so, turns out that shot doesn't exist. Does not exist. Now, she could throw the grenade, but it's only going to do three damage. Which is not really what I'm looking for here. So, that kind of sucks. Uh, I guess we're going to have to put her in Overwatch. We could get Kerrigan moved out over this way. Which I think is okay-ish. Yeah, I think we I think we do this. And I think we get our whole squad moved out over here. Uh yeah, like so. That that's that's fine by me, I think. And we'll just put everybody in Overwatch. Uh, he can't go into Overwatch. Oh no, he can. Alright, good. Okay, there's the Overwatch shot. Come on, you got this. Nope, you missed. Of course you missed. That's that's alright. See, this is why we needed Morgan Freeman. Unfortunately he was in a bad position. Because we can't hit a goddamn shot. But we got some more Overwatch, Sarah Kerrigan. All right, Sarah. You know what? That's fine. I, like, I, I still believe in you. I think you're still an excellent member of the XCOM squad. I hope she's not dead. She might be dead because we had two misses on the. Nope. We're good. Ish. As long as we can get over somewhere safe-ish. What kind of shot do you have? 65% chance to hit. I mean, we we have this guy, right? Where's Bill Butt Baggins? Oh, that's yeah, that's that's Gordon. That's uh, Morgan Freeman. Uh, yeah, he's 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 probably dead. So let's see if we can get the kill with Lara Croft. Lara, Lara's got it. Lara's got it. Good work, Lara. Did the four damage that she needed to do. Uh, we can get these reloads going, I think, which is good. Uh, we could also get. Why can't I? For some reason, I can't get Bill Butt. He can't get to this place even though he's supposed to be able to. Maybe I have to move this? No, I, I just can't get that angle for some reason. Yeah, he's gonna move over there, which is not what I want at all. Oh uh, man, that's shitty, because it's kind of glitchy. That's that that's sort of the problem with XCOM a lot of the time. Is that I, I should be able to get that position. Cause I, I have the I have the movement points to do it. Alright, we're gonna get Bill Butt moved up over there and hopefully he doesn't see any aliens, but he might. Okay, so there is our situation here. We could get Sarah Kerrigan moved up at least to a more comfortable position, like right there. Um, none of these are good positions. Unfortunately, like, that's the only position that, like, I would have preferably got Bill Butt over there, but that is straight up inaccessible to me, which is really shitty. Yeah, like, it, it just won't let me go to that place no matter what angle I'm at, which is just it's just a glitchy XCOM thing, yeah. Oh, did I get it there? No. No, it just won't let me. That's really shitty. That's, that's like, like, that's like legitimately really shitty. Um, I wish it wasn't like that, but, uh, you know, not much I could do about it, unfortunately. Now, hopefully, we can get, we can get that meld. That's what I would like to do. We can get Lara Croft move up, moved up over here. Which I think is okay. 
Yes, sir. Dash Cherry Crews up. There's like far too much dashing for me to be totally comfortable with all of this, but uh, got it. we'll it. see. Oh, okay, he's got the vision. He's got a lot of floaters. Damn. Damn. And that's a dash, and she's like flanked. This is all real bad. I can't even click on Billbutt. Like, Billbutt is flanked. Oh, we could get over here, though. <sighs> Which really sucks. He doesn't have the squad sight shot either. For some reason, he does not have that squad sight shot. So that's basically just a glitched out area, which sucks. Uh, we could get him there, which is good. Uh, yeah, and then he has three squad side shots, uh, which is fine. We've got to protect Sarah Kerrigan. Shit, she might be dead. Oh, I'm so bad at supports. I'm like the worst at Okay, so let's maybe get Ryan Gosling as a bullet shield. Ryan Gosling has now become our official bullet shield. Our shield of bullets. Our bullet shield. I really hope that this is okay. Oh boy. This is bad news, bears. Okay, there's a reaction shot, and he missed. That's okay, because it was a pistol anyway. I wasn't expecting much. It's all for the meld, too. It was all for the meld. Whoa. Alright. Oh, come on. Oh, good. We have seekers. All right, so there's no chance of us getting this meld, unfortunately. But that means that there is a chance, at least, of getting Sarah Kerrigan to a safe-ish place, which is good. This guy's not in Overwatch, and he's only got one shot. Um, actually, can we... Oh, we could totally get that meld. Oh, fuck yeah. I am surprised that we're actually going to be able to do that. Uh, not the pistol. Let's take the rifle, and let's take the headshot, too. 64% chance to hit, up to 5 damage. Let's take the regular... No, nah, let's take the headshot. Come on, Bill Butt, he's gonna miss. You know, we, we might need to switch out snipers here because Bill Butt has seriously been a huge disappointment so far. Ryan Gosling's got this. Seekers are activated and now they're in stealth mode, which is shitty. Uh, but we can always move him back, which is my plan. I guess we're gonna move him over there. Let's let's get the meld collected. So that's fine. We'll get him back. Uh, we can get Lara Croft, or we could get Terry Crews. Yeah, we should get Terry Crews over here. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, Terry's got this. I think. Fifty-six percent chance to hit. All right, come on, baby. Yeah, Terry Crews, the man with the golden money. He's got gold and money. All right, then we're going to put these two on Overwatch because uh, we have Seekers. Oh, dear, only one on Overwatch. That's okay. These floaters are coming back, I'm sure. I'm actually really lucky that they screwed themselves, basically. Oh, there they are. And, yeah, she got. she's the only one on Overwatch, and she got strangled, which is, you know, unsurprising, I suppose. Um, so we're going to try to get this Seeker off her as best we can. We have 74% chance to hit, up to 5 damage. Let's see. Come on, 74% chance to hit. That's a good chance. Unfortunately, he did only four damage, which is really bad. Um, what about you, Ryan Gosling? Do you have a shot 66% chance to hit? Come on. All right, he got it. Seeker's down, which is great. Um, and I think I could put these three in Overwatch now. Yeah, we could, we could safely put them in Overwatch. And once the Seeker comes out, since we've gotten the meld, I don't really, I don't really care about the Seeker so much, because we can just, you know, perpetually Overwatch basically. Um, and we're fine. Okay. Uh, I do have to say that she needs to reload. That's a thing that needs to happen. Uh, he kind of needs to reload too, which is fine. Cause he is not money at all. There's nothing money about Bill Butt Baggins. He has uh, been a major source of disappointment, let me be totally honest. Not particularly impressed with Billbutt Baggins. There we go, we got some overwatches. Is it enough? Nope, they both fucking missed. Of course. Of course they both missed. The two overwatches we had, yeah, and he's gonna take some damage. That always scares me, by the way. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, that never doesn't scare me. 
Um, well, Lord Croft has a kill. I don't know if Ryan Gosling has a kill on this mission. I'd like to give him a kill. Oh, actually, he just got a kill. So, you know what? Let's get Sarah Kerrigan a kill. That's that's what I want to do. Let's see if Bill Butt gets the kill. I don't know if he will. He might. He might not. He might even miss, even with a 74% chance. No, he got the kill. All right, that's fine. That's that's all right. Um, and then I think we can just put everybody in Overwatch again. Because the floaters are going to come back eventually, right? Yeah, there they are. I knew they were coming. It was sort of inevitable. Unfortunately, Sarah Kerrigan missed. Man, we need new weapons. I hope it's just the new weapons that'll do it. Oh, dear. Okay, he missed, thank God. Even though we were flanked. I imagine Bill Butt doesn't have a shot. Oh, he does! Glorious day! 55% chance crit? Come on, Bill Butt, do you got this? And... Uh, yeah, he does. That's badass. He got the crit, too. Which is great news. Uh, that does, however, show a glaring weakness of ours, which is that position there. That's affirmative. Let's get over here and let's uh, let's put everybody in our watch. Because this floater is going to come back, I assume. Yeah, here he is. Okay, we got lots of Overwatch shots on the way. Four damage. Good work, Sarah Kerrigan. We nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. That mission went exceptionally well. Exceptionally well, I have to say. I am very impressed. The month of May, I have to say, also. Fucking crazy month. Exalt, the Chrysalid mission, like three abduction missile missions. Morgan Freeman's dead, which sucks. It totally sucks. There's nothing I can tell you about that. Fire a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. The shot is easy to hit with, but does reduce damage. Rapid fire. Take two shots against a single target in quick succession. Each shot carries a minus 15 penalty to aim. Well, he doesn't use a shotgun. So flush might be good. Because flush is the rifle one, and uh, rapid fire is probably supposed to be the shotgun one. However, I think I want rapid fire. The minus 15 penalty would be averted with uh, with hollow targeting if we have Sarah Kerrigan back. So I think that's okay. So let's go with the rapid fire. I think I think that's fine. I think that's just fine. He's also got 79 aim, which is pretty good for an assault. Uh, Ryan Gosling became an assault. We have all the goddamn assaults in the world, don't we? And yep, Lara Croft is an assault as well. We need more heavies. We only have one heavy, which I guess is fine, but uh, two assaults, man. Two assaults. Ready to go. In fact, I think Guy Fieri was an assault as well, which uh, is silly because he was, you know, he became our, our robot master. Robot Lord. All right. Well, we got four engineer. Panic has increased in we North America in and Commander. the other place. Eek. Eek. Damn. Shit is real. So we probably are going to end up putting a satellite here. Yeah, that's like that's probably what's going to happen. We're going to end up probably putting a satellite in Egypt to save it. Probably another one in Canada and one in Brazil so that we get that upgrade that I want really badly. Uh, which is the instantaneous interrogations and stuff. Which would be good. Yeah. I think that's something that we're going to have to do. I, I will consider that in the next episode. Uh, because we, we managed to finish this episode out, and unfortunately we did have a death. Uh, we actually have a lot of deaths Commander, in this playthrough, We're in man. desperate need of additional troops. If we don't start recruiting new soldiers through the barracks soon, we're not going to win this fight. Yeah, you're absolutely right, actually. We, uh... We, we've got a... We've got a couple... We're, we're short. Let's just say that. We're, we're pretty short on soldiers. James Bond is dead. Morgan Freeman's dead. Samuel L. Jackson, Jennifer Lopez, Madriana Benson, Farty Fartenheimer, Min Jun Han, Lucy Liu, Beyonce Knowles, and, of course, the Doctor. All lost in the line of duty. Beyonce, in fact. Excellent soldier. Eight kills on six missions, but she's, she's dead now. She's dead now. Really quite unfortunate. Sad days in the XCOM squad. Morgan Freeman was kind of the grandfather around here, and now he's not even that. Looking at our soldiers, we have one 
other dude. We, we, we do need to hire more soldiers, but I can't afford any. Which is a huge issue. But we're going to solve that issue here in the next couple of days. In six days, in fact. Which will happen in the next episode, where we'll get more soldiers and stuff and all this other good things. We're going to get all the good things, guys. It's going to be great. I can't wait. This month is going to be awesome. We're going to have a lot of money. Uh, it feels good. You feel like a poor orphan uh, in the months, like, when you when you spend all your money. Because you spend, man. Well, maybe not. Maybe poor orphans don't get huge sums of money and then spend it all and have to wait, like, a whole month without <laughs> food or water. I don't know the analogy, but I'm just saying, like, we spend a lot of money in the beginning, and then you have nothing. You have, like, chump change the whole way through, and it sucks. It really sucks. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, this has been XCOM Enemy Within. I've enjoyed myself. That was, that was a pretty good mission. Uh, except for, of course, Morgan Freeman dying. Which, you know, doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. My hotkey is not working for my outro, unfortunately. There we go. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.